Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is the recap of what happened at the Blacksburg Spooktacular event. This was two days long and had four time slots. Each time slot got a tour of the plot and then we started the activities. We had a maze that was actually quite difficult to do. It was so funny seeing all the name tags bouncing around when I was outside of the maze. There was a costume contest for each slot. Here are all the amazing costumes. Ellie and Chris won the first contest as Toy Story characters, Lils won the second as a witch, Ola Pablo won the third time slot as a killer, and Emily and Candy Cat won the last time slot as Gru and a minion. Everyone got to try out the inflatable slide. Fun fact, just that item was worth 200,000 blocks for cash. Everyone had some popcorn and some people drank the hot sauce. We named the animals in the petting zoo and bounced on the bungee trampolines. We also tried to fit the lawnmower inside of the maze, but the backside of the mower was too fat, sadly, so it didn't work. One of the time slots got to look for a white tiny pumpkin around the plot a few times, and to be honest, I think I made it a little too hard to find, but people found it, people found it. Someone was also giving boat rides in the second time slot of day one too, which is pretty cool. Day two had a couple new fun activities and they were completely last minute. Both time slots that day had roller skate races. The sandwich won the first time slot and a lot of people were cheating in the second time slot, so everyone was a winner instead. The other activity the day two time slots got to do was fly kites on top of the haunted house. It looked gorgeous. I was really happy we did that. In the first time slot of day two, I wanted to prank the last time slot by putting water inside the haunted house. It kind of worked, but the plot was still loading in for some people, so it wasn't as big of a surprise as it could have been. And the waters were disappearing when I loaded the plot in, so a lot of our hard work kind of disappeared. A few of you noticed though, so that was good. I did get a couple new decorations during the event too. One was a Jeep and one was a human that was stuck in the ceiling. I mean, not stuck, they were purposely placed there, but they added a little nice touch to the plot. Overall, the events were pretty fun and I hope everyone enjoyed it. And here are all the pictures that I took and that I was tagged in. Even though the event had to get rescheduled to after Halloween because of Roblox having technical issues, it was still a blast. Make sure to subscribe for more events if you haven't already.